Please welcome former NBA player and the author of Man in the Middle, John Amici. Thank you. Um, as children, we are told stories that stay with us for life. Lessons and parables, fairy tales, that subtly inform us through miraculous tales of dragon slaying princesses and chivalrous knights or mischievous wizards, that everything and anything is possible when you dream. We hear these stories as children, and as adults, we recycle them. We use them to educate, to reassure, to support our friends, our partners, and our children. They remind us of the very best of ourselves, the soaring heights of our imaginations and the almost limitless scope of our own potential. As we get older, stories are no less important, even if their content tends to be a little less fantastic. But as a community, we often don't hear stories that represent us well or resonate with the lives that we lead. Part of my decision to come out publicly was to play my part in addressing some of these injustices and act as a lightning rod for, hopefully, a renewed debate on the state of GLBT people in America. The events of the past few months have taught me that talking about gay and lesbian athletes is opening the door to a broader conversation about the welfare, respect, and equity of all GLBT people. Ultimately, it's the truth about the damage that prejudice and bigotry does to all of society, not just the GLBT community, that is trapped in the closet. The media has a unique ability, and indeed, thank you, it has a responsibility to push that door ever wider. So let's keep telling our compelling, inspirational stories and work with GLAAD to make sure they ring out loud and clear, lodging in the minds of all people, especially the young, and inoculating our society against the onset of casual, acceptable bigotry and making the world the safe, accepting place it's supposed to be, a place where we all can indeed live happily ever after. Thank you.